if you're in the market for a tower garden, but you want to know a lot more about them, maybe things that people don't typically tell you before you bring one into your home and make this big investment, then you clicked on the right video. Today I'm going to go over some of the cons, some of the things that I wish I knew before I bought a tower garden and brought it into my home, and I want to go over some of the pros, the, the benefits that I found from my tower garden, and you guys can decide for yourself if one outweighs the other or if you're just going to walk away from tower garden altogether. So let's get into the video. First I want to start with the cons, the things that I wish I knew when I bought my tower garden and brought it into my home. So the first thing that I really wish I knew when I set this up right outside of my kitchen in my living room was just how bright it was going to be. Okay, so I set it up. I was really excited about it. I had the cage on it and my wife and I stood back and looked at it and we both realized at the same time that it's just not going to work in that space. There's no way we would be able to watch TV. I mean, it's an 18 hour lighting cycle during the vegetative stage. So that's 18 hours a day when these lights are going to be on. and. You know, when the sun is at full blast, it's not that big of a deal, but in the morning and in the evening, it's extremely bright, especially if you're trying to watch TV, read a book, not have something that's really bright kind of right there. So I, I wish I knew about that because I ended up having to move it out to the garage, which wasn't the experience that I was expecting. I still had great harvest and I had a lot of fun with my tower garden, but I wasn't able to really have it in the space that I thought I was. Our house was just too small at that time. Now the other problem that I had with it in our living space is it's actually kind of loud, guys. Not loud in a really disturbing way, just trickling water. This pump lifts water up to the top and then it just trickles it down the entire garden. So when the water returns to the nutrient reservoir at the bottom, it sounds like a fountain is operating. There is a small hum just from the pump. That didn't really bother me. It was the trickling water that happened unexpectedly 15 minutes every hour while I was just eating dinner, trying to talk to somebody, watching a show, reading a book. That kind of threw me off a little bit and um, it became a little bit of an annoyance in my living space. Something that I find a lot of people wish they knew that when they got a tower garden is in order to really have grows like this and these like crazy amazing grows where you're harvesting tomatoes and eggplants and all this awesome stuff out of your tower garden. If you just buy a tower garden with no knowledge of like measuring and maintaining your pH or your EC, your TDS, your nutrients in general, um, how to, you know, add hydrogen peroxide to oxygenate your water, keep your garden clean, clean it with citric acid, all these things that you're going to need to know to really, really grow hydroponically. If you don't know that stuff, then your grow might just be a bit of a disappointment. It could be less disappointing if you think of it like this, like beginners who don't really know too much and just want to kind of follow the tower gardens guidelines, which are very, very uh, loose and they don't offer a lot of education at all. But you could likely have a, a good grow with just like greens and herbs, but I would stay away from anything that fruits like tomatoes, peppers, anything that creates a fruit, uh, because that's going to require more information. You have to switch nutrients during the flowering cycle. You have to switch the EC. You have to switch the lighting. You, get, you need to know a lot more uh, if you want to grow these other plants. So that's something that I think a lot of people wish they knew is that they actually need to know how to grow hydroponically to have a really amazing grow in these tower gardens. So that's kind of a bit of a bummer for a lot of people. Luckily, I have Humble Growth, which is this channel that you're on right now. I have tons of videos. I have a whole playlist right here all about tower gardens, uh, humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I have tons of free guides, tower garden nutrients, tower garden lighting, setting up your tower garden. I also have this tower garden masterclass, which is just one video that kind of covers everything you need to know to get started. So make sure you check that video out too. It's right there. So if the lighting doesn't bother you, if the noise doesn't bother you, and if you don't mind learning some stuff about hydroponics, the only other hurdle you're going to have to get over is the initial investment, right? They're not cheap. Tower gardens are not inexpensive, but this was a tough one for me to put in the cons because the amount of resources that this requires and the abundance of the harvest that you're going to get from this actually starts to pay for itself pretty quickly. So I guess with that in mind, let's start getting into these pros. First, the space saving. So we're talking about being able to grow a minimum of 20 plants. If you just get the regular tower garden flex, 20 plants and about four square feet. That is astounding. Now, if you, if you get the extensions, you can grow even more and then you can get the microgreen extension and grow even more than that. You can end up with a ton of plants in just such a small footprint. It's really, really amazing for the urban landscape for maybe someone who has seasonal weather and wants to be able to bring their garden inside to be able to have your entire garden in like one corner of your house or just one area where you can walk over and pull from every day. 
that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I think that's the biggest benefit of tower gardens, the space saving um, vertical farming approach. I think it's really, really neat. Because tower gardens recycle the water over and over and over again, you know, when we, when we water soil, it's a one time and then you're gone with that water. It doesn't cycle that water through. In tower gardens, you're cycling that 20 gallons through over and over and over again. And because of that, it actually uses up to 95% less water than traditional farming, 90% net less nutrients than traditional farming, and it's almost like too good to be true, but a lot of plants will grow almost twice as fast in tower gardens because of the aeroponics because the roots are suspended in air and being delivered that way so that extra oxygen actually increases respiration which is increase which increases the overall gas exchange which allows your plant to grow faster and better science so we have something that grows a lot of plants in a lot less space it grows them faster with a lot less resources it also means that there's significantly less maintenance all you really have to do with your garden is check the ph and the ec and top off the water whenever it needs top offs that is about five minutes worth of work every few days to a week depending on where your plants are and other than that you can just walk away and watch your plants grow all you really have to worry about is what's going on in the nutrient reservoir and once you wrap your mind around that it's actually a lot more simple than you might imagine if you can master your, your tower garden and and learn the tools and principles of hydroponic gardening so that you can really really optimize your tower garden to grow everything that you eat your tower garden will pay for itself so quickly if you can look at things a little differently the tower garden actually can become a bit of a centerpiece in your house having a modern vertical farm essentially and just a small footprint of your home becomes a really really cool experience for guests for your kids for yourself to come down and see every day and finally another huge benefit to tower gardens is if you pick up a tower garden from the link in my description description box below I will give you my 14 part mastering your tower garden course for free for picking up a new tower garden from the links I just want to get you started off on the right foot because if you're okay with the lighting if you're okay with the noise and you and you take those things into consideration and now all you need to do is learn how to really grow in this thing I don't want that to be the thing that stops you from buying a tower garden so I really hope this video was of value to you I hope that you can make the decision for yourself whether or not you want to pick up a tower garden and let's grow together